Welcome back to The Graham Stephan Show. My name is Graham and welcome to my show. And I just gotta say, the growth of this second channel is unbelievable. The views that this channel is getting is unbelievable. The subscribers that this channel has been getting lately is unbelievable. So I have a request for everyone watching. Let me know how you found this channel. Because when I do a shout out on Instagram, usually I'll get a few hundred subscribers. Not like 2,000 subscribers a day. So let me know how you found this because this is absolutely unreal and I'm blown away. But with that, I think everyone really likes to see CNBC make it and have my reactions to this. And this whole channel, CNBC Make It, is a gem. They're an undiscovered gem. I am shocked they only have 103,000 subscribers. This should be on the level of Dr. Phil, right? This should have a million, two million, three million subscribers because this content is gold. And I am upset that they don't post this more often and that I have to wait like a few weeks per episode. I need more content to react to. And that brings us to today. Now this one holds a special place in my heart because it takes place here where I am in the city of angels, Los Angeles. And the title of this video by CNBC Make It is living on $55,000 a year in Los Angeles, millennial money. I, I just love that little last slogan there, millennial money, because you know it's gonna be good. If we combine millennials with money, it always makes for an interesting episode. There's a reason they don't do baby boomer money, because that wouldn't be as exciting as this. That would be a lot of 401k plans and retirement plans and let's, let's say 30% of our, no, millennial money, avocado toast, poor home buying decisions, not saving any money. So let's watch this one and get my opinion from someone who's deeply into personal finance, who loves saving money more than anything else on the planet. And uh, you know, I, I get triggered anytime someone spends money unnecessarily. So let's get into this video and see what, uh, what this is all about. All right, really quick, let me stop this here. I think $55,000 a year at 22 years old is decent. I don't think it's a lot like it's like it's, you know, she's gonna make it rain every night. I don't think she's doing like bottle service every night. I don't think she's got like private yachts and jets, but I, I think 55,000 at 22 is a very good salary for someone who's 22. Okay, let's keep going. It's really embarrassing to say, but if it weren't for the Kardashians, I don't think I would have aspired to live in Los Angeles. Millennial money, oh man. <sighs> that could be its own episode right there. We could really dive into that topic way more than she, you can't just like sprinkle that on there and expect this not to be like, wait, what? All right, we'll, we'll keep going, but that, I, my, my brain just, just short-circuited there. Let's keep going. My name is Madeline Parkinson. I'm 22 years old. I live in Los Angeles, California, and I make $55,000 a year. I was born in Australia and I always knew that I wanted to work in entertainment on set or post-production and so I decided that I wanted to come to America for college and to follow my dream. How does she not have an accent? That's what I want to know. I track things on apps, I track things on paper, I have like a budget binder that I use. Something. Let's see if she's making $55,000. We'll just assume that of that, let's just say 15% goes to taxes, okay? Which is, which is, is low. Uh, California state income taxes are way too high, but I digress. Let's just say $45,000 a year divided by 12, 3750. So here's what I want to know. So she's spending 3275. She's making 3750 a month. 32.75, this is $475 in this budget. We don't know where it goes. Let's find out where this goes here because we got 475 that's unaccounted for. Usually they leave hints throughout the video as like, you know, little unnecessary expenditures that like chip away at this. So anyway, uh, let's go through this. $1,225 a month, her share for a two bedroom apartment. That's good. That's really good. For Los Angeles, I would say that's like, 
that's, that's a great amount of rent. So she gets a pass on that. $730 a month in savings. She's saving a pretty decent amount. $730 a month times 12, $8,000. So she's saving about 20% of her income. That's good. That's really good. I approve of that. $425 a month on food. It's not that bad. It's not terrible. Insurance, $335 a month. Health, car, and renter's insurance. I guess it's okay. That's okay, I approve of that. Miscellaneous, $290 a month. Donations, subscriptions, dog, and self-care. Okay, that's fine. Utilities, $150, fine. Car is $70. What car is she driving for $70 a month? That, that, that doesn't even get you a Tesla Model 3 because that's $78 a month, you know? Other than that, her spending is, is fine. Like, I wish it were worse so I can critique it, but I don't think she's doing anything wrong here. Madeline, uh, good job. Let's keep going. The thing that I spend money on every single month is diet soda. I probably go through a 12 pack a day. No! Oh man, okay, so, so a few things. Uh, one, I've, I've noticed, I've noticed a lot, a lot of women love Diet Coke. I, I've seen this firsthand that like Diet Coke is the thing. I don't know any guys that are sitting there drinking Diet Coke. I know a lot of women that just, just Diet Coke all day long. 12 a day, that, that's unhealthy. Like, let's put the budget aside. Let's, let's put the millennial money aside. This is just like life money here. This is just like for your own health. There's, there's, there's no reason why you should be drinking that much Diet Coke a day. I could see like a can or two, like w w moderation. And she's got one of these metal straws too. Metal, which, which could be better for your teeth. You know, I'm sitting here drinking a coffee. Usually I drink it with a straw, but on camera it looks kind of weird because I don't want to mess up my teeth. But cut it out, oh man. My grocery budget used to be a lot higher because I was buying real Diet Coke. So then I found- $150 a month for Diet Coke. <laughs> I knew there was gonna be something good. I was worried up until this point. I'm like, this is gonna be such a boring episode. Should I even post it? Because there's, there's nothing bad so far. $150 a month in Diet Coke. There's always gonna be something that I'm just like, oh, we did it guys. We did it, we, we found a gem. But okay, whoa, whoa. after switching to a generic brand. Brand. 50. $50 a month. I, you know, I'm, now I'm trying to think like, how much do I spend on coffee? I would say on coffee, cause, cause I, I try to get it in bulk if I can. I would say I spend 20, $20 a month in coffee. And, and that keeps me going. Like if it wasn't for that $20 a month, I would not have the energy to make all these videos. But. Come on, like $50 a month? That's a lot! She's like, she's filled up her entire trunk with diet cola. And there's gotta be a way to wean yourself off of that. Like that just, anyway, let's keep going. The biggest expense over the last year was my lawyer fees. I knew that this was coming up and I knew that I was gonna be responsible for it. Whatever I was saving, whenever I put it in a savings account, I just knew that that was going for the lawyer fees, going for the lawyer fees. That's respectable though that, that she's budgeted for that and, um, and uh, is really working towards it. Remember when I said that there was uh, money unaccounted for and we always find clues and hints there's like $475 a month that's unaccounted for? Um, you know, there's her lawyer fees. $5,700 a year is going towards lawyer fees. I, first of all, have to respect that. She's budgeting for something that's important to her. She's working towards that. She's doing it herself. And uh, I have nothing but respect for that, you know? And uh, yeah, so there, uh, she's doing it right. No complaints. Oh, I could listen to this all day long. Let's talk about credit cards. If you have a credit score in Australia, that does not convert to the US. I went in and I got my credit card and the limit was like $150. Okay, so I gotta say, I'm really proud of her. I think that's awesome. You don't need to pay off the credit card in full every few days. I think there's, well, first of all, there's nothing wrong with that. It's unnecessary, you know, you know, you can let it build up over time and then pay it off at the end of the statement cycle. But you know what? She's doing great work. I wish, besides, besides 
the Diet Coke. Besides the Diet Coke, she's doing great so far. And I, I, I wish it were more interesting of an episode, but we'll keep going. I feel like I should be putting more into my 401k. That's my next goal is to try and reduce my expenses somehow so where I can bump that up. She's doing everything right. We need to find, if, if you guys know a CNBC make it where someone is terribly screwing up, let me know, just comment it down below. I, I just agree with everything so far, besides the Diet Coke. I'm really interested in the fire movement. She's in a fire. Wow, that's, that's awesome. That's awesome, I'm in a fire too. That's very cool. I don't really know what I'm saving for. <laughs> High yield savings account, oh. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wish I had a better reaction to this. I'm gonna post this anyway because, you know, people like my reactions to this, but at least you know when I'm reacting to this, it's like, this is really me. And if something bothers me, I'll just be, I'll react to it. This doesn't bother me at all, but let's just keep going. But I think that overall, I generally stick to my budget. I'm saving. I think I've got a good start. I don't know if I'm gonna post this one. Obviously, if you guys see it, you see it, but she's not doing anything wrong. And that's, and that's you know, the hundred, the $50 a month in Diet Coke, it's, it's absurd. And I wish more people would be like, yo, you gotta cut that out. But for just financially, there's nothing wrong. And, and I'm kind of disappointed that, that I reacted to something where she's, there's, there's nothing going wrong. You know, I, I don't preview these before I watch them, so sometimes I don't know until you actually get into the episode. Um, yeah, guys, so that's that's how you do millennial money on $55,000 a year. That's how you do it, no complaints. And, uh, oh, geez, now I, now I gotta figure out what else to do. So with that said, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to always Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, add me on Instagram, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Thank you again for watching, and until next time.